Hello everyone and welcome back to the Football Manager 2018 Let's Play with Chelsea FC. I'm Fruball FM and let's get into episode 18. So as you can see we've started okay. We haven't started extremely well. We've um, after our win against Manchester United in the Community Shield, which was pretty comprehensive, I have to say, it was a pretty good result. Um, we played Crystal Palace, took, took them on away from home at Selhurst Park, and we went 2-0 down. If we just take a look at the match stats. Uh, match stats, yeah, here we go. We were much the dominant side, but it seems to be that with this tactic, that we are really outplaying sides, but we're having quite a lot of long shots. And we're just not getting the look. I mean, this could have easily ended in Crystal Palace's favour. Morata, Delete, and Willian with the goals. You can see Matthias Delete got man of the match. A fantastic performance from him. An 8.6, which is a really good rating for a, a centre back. After that, we played Wolves, and again, it was a very similar story. We, we, we dominated the game start to finish, but only managed to put away one goal, which Alvaro Morata scored. Um, he's got two in his first four games uh, for us. This one, again, the stats, I mean, they tell a story. We were just much the better side, and, and and it's not even a case of we didn't make any really good chances, because we did. We just didn't put them away. And that really t told its own story in the 3-1 defeat to Liverpool. Now, you take a look at the match stats, you say, yeah, very, very even game. But for the majority of this, it was only when we started to go more direct that Liverpool actually had quite a lot of shots and quite a lot of shots on target. We got a little bit desperate trying to get back into the game. We did pull one back through Pedro, but Benzema's goal, James Milner played an absolute stormer, um, and Jordan Henderson scored the goals for, for Liverpool. Um, we had, I think it was five clear-cut chances, and uh, Liverpool had three. We just didn't put them away. You can see N'Golo Kante played 6.1. Um, the two centre-backs didn't have a great game. It just wasn't our day. We... I'm not overly worried by the tactic because an away, as an away performance goes against Liverpool, that's pretty good. 55% possession. Um, like I say, five clear cut chances. We just couldn't put them away. Against West Brom, we were incredibly unlucky and I think it was partly to do with the fact that whenever you play against all players on Football Manager, they inevitably play an absolute blinder, which is the case with the goalkeeper, Matej Delac. Now, you know that... Um, obviously he left on a free transfer last season he played the last few games of the season for us because Courtois was injured it only says a 6.8 but we had loads of clear cut chances look, look at the statistics we had I think we had three clear cut chances about four half chances we just couldn't break them down they actually took the lead with their first shot on target through Mario Gavranovic the uh, Swiss striker and I I uh, this game made me so angry. It did. I mean, football managers sometimes infuriate, and you know, you know, you'll know yourselves if you play it. That it is, but it was the performance of Matte Delac that really, really annoyed me because it always happens. It always comes back to bite you when when players leave and then come back to play against you. So, Fabregas missed the penalty. It is he missed the penalty. He didn't. Matte Delac saved it. So, um, in the 90th minute, plus five. Um, I mean, Fikir came on and got a man of the match performance. He, he was excellent. I actually dropped him. I dropped both the defenders because they had poor games in the last game. Um, brought Zappa Costa in for a bit of fresh legs. I am rotating Tini and um, Emerson um, between the left back slots, so that was why Tini played. But um, one of the biggest pieces of news actually was that Eden Hazard picked up a cruciate ligament injury. Now, just I mean. It might be a little bit um, far back, so we'll just we'll just take a look at Eden Hazard. Um, now, yeah, as you can see, I mean, his bravery is going right down. Um, strength and pace are, are going to decline because of his injury. There we are. So damaged cruciate ligaments, five to seven months now. What a blow to our season that is. We rejected offers for him in the summer, and it's just again, I just seem to have really bad luck on football manager. It just seems to happen that way. He got injured in the match, I think it was against West Brom in about the 46th minute, so I think it was against West Brom, it might have been, no actually I think it must have been against Liverpool, yeah it was against Liverpool, you can see there he picked up that injury, Murata got injured as well but he came back for this game and, and played poorly, which Fernando Torres came on and by the way hit the post in about the 94th minute, just, just I think I think it was just after actually we got the penalty, uh, which Fabregas missed, so today we've 
turn our focus to a nice, easy, simple name to say. It is Zriniski, is how I think you say it, um, in Bosnia. Now, um, I think they've only got one, a, a few players um, in the side. So, I mean, this, this should be an absolute walkover, really. We are away from home, but it's our first Europa League game, and I was keen to show it. Um, I'll just show you our group, actually. We've got... Um, the aforementioned uh, Zriniski, but we also got where are we? Group J, uh, Atalanta and uh, Steaua Bucharest. Now, actually, in the in the press conference, they were like, "Oh, is it fair to say that uh, FC Steaua Bucharest are uh, the best team in the in the, uh, the the second best team in the group?" I was like, "Surely, surely that's Atalanta. I mean, they're going to be the ones who." If any threat, I mean, I would expect us to get through this group, win six games, smash everyone to pieces. So here we are then for the game against Zriniski and um, the team that we're going to go for today is going to be heavily rotated. So this might take a while to pick. So we're going to go for Pepe Reina as our cup goalkeeper. Uh, Zapacosta can come out because he's injured for Azpilicueta. Um, we're actually going to stick with Zuma because he's not going to play so many games and uh, go with Gary Cahill um, as his partner at the back there. Um, again, it's Teeny and Emerson who are... Emerson's actually unregistered, so we're actually going to have to play Teeny in this one. Um, we're going to go with um, Tiamu Bakayoko as the regista in that role that Jorginho usually fills. He's got a really good relationship with these guys, actually. Um, we will... Then go for Fernando Torres up front. I just love Fernando Torres. He's, he's former Liverpool great, so I'm going to... Um, we don't have that many options in the wing positions because of Hazard's injury so and, and Clive Hurt's unregistered, which was smart. So we actually only really have Pedro and Willian able to play. I mean, Tammy Abraham, Abraham can play there, but I don't really want to... This cheek is going to come in. I really wanted to try him out in this advanced playmaker role. Because I think he's got he's got the stats. He just needs to to develop a little bit, and he he could be fantastic. So, um, so what's his potential? His potential three stars, so that's good enough. Um, in a team like this team, where you know your five star players are like Eden Hazard, well, your four and a half, and your your four stars are like you know Willian Morata. They're like almost world class players. I don't expect Loftus Cheek to hit those heights. So we'll also look to put Lewis Baker in for uh, sorry, not Lewis Baker. We'll also look to put Ross Barkley in for this game. Uh, he's not going to play as a Carolero, though. He's going to play as a Mazala and see how that works. Um, be just because he, a Mazala is more attacking and Barkley's got that dribbling ability that a, a Mazala um, gets further forward and things. So he's got that attacking ability that, that is quite nice. But it'd be interesting to see how loftus Street gets on. Uh, William and Pedro in the wide positions. And Fernando Torres up front. So let's see how we get on against Zriniski. So my team... So as you can see, they've gone with a 4-4-2 um, narrow diamond. Now that might be... We do like to exploit the middle, which is which possibly I might have to actually look at, um, thinking about our formation, because that's possibly why we're having so many long shots. We're not getting the ball wide enough to cross it in, so um, we might look to, to, to remedy that. Um, but uh, yeah, the 4-4-2 narrow diamond, we might look to change the formation if it's not going our way. Passionately say... Let's give the fans the performance they expect. I don't know how many fans there will be in this stadium. Um, let's just say we've got faith. Gotta have faith, faith, faith. It looked too bad a stadium, to be honest. I mean, it's very empty, and quite a lot of those fans look like ours. But, yeah. Zriniski get us underway. And there's going to be a lot of itches in this game. I can sense it now. Oh, that's Zappacosta on the bench. I haven't really sorted out my bench, to be honest. Actually getting dominated in possession by, by the, this team. As you can see, I mean, we're coming back into it now. But Pedro takes a corner. The first highlight of the game. Willian to Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek hits it. And what a goal that is from Ruben Loftus-Cheek. I wanted to try him in that attack and advanced playmaker position. And he scored. 1-0 to Chelsea against Zriniski. I just like saying Zriniski. Zriniski. I feel like you need to say it in that voice. As Piliquete to Bakayoko. Fernando Torres popping up. Willian now. Ramic gets in there. Torres back post. Hustanovic heads away. He's Kieran Tini to pick up the pieces. Pedro. Torres! Fernando Torres gets his first goal on his return to Chelsea. He's found by Pedro with a great ball in. Um, I love the fact that Fernando Torres has scored a goal. 
just watch it again in all its glory. Kieran Tierney picks it up, plays a nice ball into Pedro. It was very narrow, actually, You look when you look there. Um, obviously, playing as that inside forward, he will drift narrow, but he puts a lovely ball in for, for Torres, and he, he just bangs it home with his head. 2-0. I mean, we obviously are expected to win this game comfortably, um, but everything's gone particularly nice. I mean, again, our shots on target ratio is, is not very good at all, so it's something we're going to have to look at. I mean, that's a terrible pass by Gary Cahill. We'll pick it back up. Captain for the day, Gary Cahill. William to Barkley, and that's cut out here is Brian Hatch. Zukic can't pick it up. Cahill out wide for Pedro again. He's going to have to play a lot of games this season because of the injury to um, Hazard. So, Tini. Loftus cheek again from range. Really good effort, just wide of the left post. But yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what his long shots are. Just take a look at what his long shots are because he's, no, we can't see. There we go. Uh, long shot. He's got five long shots. Yeah, he scored a long shot and had a highlight. Was responsible for a highlight from a long shot. So that yeah, makes sense. He's Brian Hatch. You know, over the top. Brian Hatch. You can see Pepe in his bald head there. Um, Brian Hatch was very close. That was quite worrying. That it's maybe because of our Torres again. He's hit the post. It's maybe because of our higher line. Um, But as you can see in the other game, um, Patrick Catrone must be on loan, or, or they might have signed him, but I think he, I assume he must be on loan from AC Milan. Scored twice for Atalanta. So we go into half time, it's 0 0. Uh, 0 0. It's 2 0. Um, um, uh, just say, don't get complacent. Now, a couple of them look stressed, but that's better than them becoming, all becoming complacent in the second half. Um, and actually, Brian Ash, who looked quite a danger in the first half, has gone off. Um, so. As William takes ball forward off the uh, kickoff and Jurich claims nice and easily. Uh, yeah, so 50 minutes of the game gone, and uh, I mean, as you could expect that it probably would go this way. Is there anybody playing particularly poorly? Uh, not really. Is Mujagic, as uh, Zrinski come forward, Husidic, Mujagic, Zukic, and he has actually got a goal back. It's Said Zukic with the goal, with an assist by Mercy Mujagic. Um, and it's 2-1. Um, again, we are dominating the stats, but just not getting ahead too far ahead in the games. Um, here we come, though, as Piliqueta. Willian, as Piliqueta. Back at Yoko. Loftus-Cheek again. Pedro! Very good block there. I think that might have been a clear-cut chance. Pedro to take the corner with Willian in attendance. But he opts instead for Barkley. Loftus-Cheek. Likes them long shots with five long shots. Barkley again. Back post, nobody there. Yeah, so Catrone has got two and Coleman for Stalbergres, but here's Aspilicueta now. Willian. Barkley, Loftus cheek. Hrustanovic with the tackle. They can't spring a counter because Tini's picked it back up again. Tini, Loftus cheek. Pedro. He just hits back a Yoko, but he picks it up. Pedro. Barkley. Is he going to hit one from distance? He is, and it's. That was really weird. That was really, really weird. I want to have a look at this again. Because I think it might be a, a football manager, classic goalkeeper, cock up. So, Bakayoko finds Pedro. All normal at this point. Barkley knocks it in front of himself. Hits it. Oh, no, it didn't. Just, I must be gone nuts. That's possibly me, so. But yeah, it's 3-1 anyway. Um, we might make to look, look to make some subs uh, now. We'll bring Tammy Abraham... Abraham on for Willian in that position because he can actually play out on the right hand side to provide a little bit of uh, respite for Willian. Um, we don't want him getting injured because he is probably our best player. Well, definitely now that Hazard's injured. Um, but yeah, Loftus Cheeks had a really good game. And I think, I mean, the other ones possibly look to get Fakir on for Pedro. No, we'll keep it as it is because the other guys aren't going to really play as much. So um, Loftus Cheek picks it up again. That's Piliqueta. Right across for Tini. Kieran Tini. Good tackle. Picks it up again. Abraham! And he gets his first goal of the season. I mean, he's, it's his first ever goal for Chelsea, apparently. Um, but not really pleased with Abraham's contribution, actually. He's, he's got very low match fitness, but he's managed to bag us a goal, so that's real. You can see Tini just um, slide tackles it in the box and then just passes it to Abraham, who fires home. 4 1. 
Yeah, but here we go, another highlight. Spikic to Mil Milutinovic, Hrustinovic. Milutinovic, Hrustinovic, Vego, Repu, Maksumic, Juric, Repu, Ramic. His names are fantastic. Ramic over the top, but there's nobody there, and uh, good old Pepe will pick it up. Yes, he will, eventually, apparently. Just take your time, Pepe, yeah? Eventually bashes it up the pitch towards Fernando Torres. Pedro, Loftus cheek, what a spin. That's Billy Quater. Abraham again. Abraham. And it's a it's a comedic own goal from Jozo Spikichu, who is one of their only real players, and he's managed to put the ball through the back of his owner. Loftus cheek with that lovely spin. That was a nice spin. He's had a good game, Loftus cheek, bless him. That's Billy Quater down the line for Abraham. Knocks it in, and there's Spikich with the kind of it was on, it was more a dance move than a, a football attempt, really, wasn't it? Petronas now got a hat trick. So as for that reporter's suggestion that Steyer Bucharest were going to be the second best team in the group, you're an idiot. Quite frankly. So yeah, five one to Chelsea in the end. Um, a very easy win, um, and we get our Europa League campaign off to a flyer. Yeah. Very pleased with the result and the performance. The, the boys were really good. Kieran with a man, man of the match performance. Around, uh... Yeah, send assistant. Chelsea to receive 320 grand for their win against Zriniski in the Euro Cup. Classy Tini on form, but 9.1. Four key passes. Passing was a joy to behold. Brilliant. Had a really good game. Um, right then, on to the next one. On to Hull now, away from home, where we have struggled. Okay, so here we are for the Hull game. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to just change a few things for the for the away game and it might form the basis of a second tactic for away games really. So um, we are on control and fluid with our original tactic but what we're going to do, can I copy this tactic? I can just load it to the second one, can't I? Um, so I think what we'll do for this, this tactic is we'll stop playing so high because I think we get caught in... Uh, over the top with long balls getting on the, on the counter so I think we'll just um, close down sometimes can't try and keep the um, shorter passing and everything um, just to keep it nice and tight and trying to sort of strangle the game but we won't exploit the middle either because I think if we get, especially against the smaller teams we're going to pack out the middle I think we possibly need to play, I mean we are playing fairly wide but if we try and exploit the middle against these teams that are packing, packing it out we're just not going to get any space so um, I'm going to take that off for the away games um, and just see if we can sort of find a bit more space really. So um, as you can see this is our rotated squad from the um, Europa League games. We're going to go back with Courtois um, as Pilicueta is going to have to stay in because um, he's injured. Now, Zuma's been really good actually since he's came in so I'm going to leave Zuma in there and I'm going to put him with uh, Andreas Christ Andy Christensen. So, um, as Pilicueta, Azuma, Christensen and Tini was really good in the last game so I'm going to leave him there um, Jorginho is going to come back in his Regista role Carrero is going to go to Angola Kante who hasn't had a great start to the season um, Loftus-Cheek had a really good game I was really pleased with his contribution actually in that advanced playmaker role he played really really well so um, we are going to go with though, um, Nabil Fakir Willian, Pedro we're not going to go with Torres we're going to go with Alvaro Morata but I think I think we'll put Justin Clive on the bench as well. Uh, take Zappa Costa off there. Put Emerson on there. Let's get to the match. So they're going with the uh, four-two-three-one formation. Uh, signed Pascal Gross and Jordan Ayew, very good signings. Um, Tom Ince as well on the left-hand side. Uh, look like a decent side. Signed Ahmed, Ahmed Hagati from um, and Kuko Martina as well. So they look like a decent side, Hull. Um, hopefully, though, we can overcome them. So here we go then, against Hull, away from home in the KCOM Stadium, I believe it is. Um, Dico gets us underway. And Hull are actually dominating the ball for the first 10 minutes. I'm just going to say demand more. And we are actually just going to change things up a little bit because they've obviously got quite a lot of the ball. So we are going to try and compress the game a little bit get slightly higher um, and get more closed down, get stuck in a little bit and see if we can win the ball back. I mean, it's, it seems to have made an immediate difference to our possession stat. Um, we're not having a great time of it, it doesn't appear. 
um, out there. But we have got a highlight here is Jorginho. Tierney for Kia. Out for Pedro, who's come narrow again. Pedro, Morata! Oh, he's headed it straight against the bar. He does that a lot, Morata. We just we miss a lot of, a lot of clear cut chances. I don't know whether that's this year's game, whether. I mean, I have played obviously a lot of this year's game, and you do miss a lot of clear cut chances, but it seems to be particularly with our strikers and with Morata. Um, it's Conte out to us, Billy Creator. Can we create another chance? Can we forge one for Kia? Back to Christensen, for Kia again. It seems to be continuing, Pedro. Fakir, and that's poor. Let's give it straight to um, Jackson Irvin. Jordan Ayew, Irvin, get moving. Christensen, it's good, good pace. Oh no! Oh my, oh my word! What is this? What is what is this like? This is unbelievable. <sighs> but what can you say about this goal? What what can you say about it? Some nice, nice round the corner pass from uh, Chris. Courtois not even facing the damn ball. He's not facing the ball. Sort it out, SI. Sort it out. Ah, <sighs> okay. So we're one nil down after that wonderful goal from Hull. We've not been great. I'm not going to lie. We've not been great in this first half. Um, but to be one nil down for, for a goal like that is just ridiculous. Um, I'm going to get aggressive. I'm saying I expect to see a much better performance in the second half. Um, as we play it around from the kickoff, we have got corner. Start this second half. Willian gets it in. Pedro's gonna not pick this up. It's Dico. Where's he going? Pedro's won it. Willian and he scored. Get in. Come on. Another mistake. It's another mistake that's led to a goal. Um, because Pedro just robbed Dico, I think, there in defence. Higazi with a good, with decent clearance. I mean, Pedro probably should have picked it up there, but Dico. Just dwelled on the ball and Pedro nicked it off him. William blasted it into the top corner. I'm just going to encourage them and just keep getting that ball forward. We're actually going to go and attack and we seem to have, have really come into this game a bit more now. Having a lot more shots. Um, is there anybody we can get on? Again, Morata's not really not had a good game. Um, going to get Fernando Torres on up there. Uh, just as the trek Wartista on attack. Uh, so he doesn't have to move around so much. William and Pedro are having a decent game, so I'm going to leave them out there. Um, so, a highlight immediately after our substitution. It's up there, I mean, there's nobody there, but here's Jorginho. Willian. Willian run down the right wing. Can he find Torres in the middle? He does. Fernando Torres, saved by Marshall. What a tackle. Jorginho, Tierney, Pedro, Fekir, Torres. Torres, Willian, oh, it's another chance that goes begging, but he's another highlight, Davis, Marshall, West, West Ham, Hull playing it around like the Barcelona, Kingsley, as Piliqueta wins it back, Willian, now can he find Fernando Torres in the middle, he does, Fernando Torres, scores a Premier League goal for Chelsea again, <sighs> vindication. Piliqueta and, and Willi, uh, that's Kante, I think, win it back between them off Stephen Kingsley. William pulls it back. There's Fernando Torres. Pure joy uh, as Fernando Torres gets his first Premier League goal of the season. They might have to start our next game. So 2 1 to Chelsea. We've really ramped it up in this second half. Again, I mean, the stats, they haven't created a single chance. It's just been that one Jorginho pass back, whatever it, whatever you want to call it, um, is for Kia. Can we add another? It's back again, Marshall. Gets it up the pitch. Abel Hernandez. Terral. Picked up again by Fakir. He's had a good game today. Uh, he seems to have anyway. I don't know if that'll be reflected in his rating, but he, every highlight he seems to be winning the ball back and being a bit busy. So, I mean, that's boo from Willian. Um, Zuma stepped in though. Jorginho mops up. Christensen can spit out to Tierney. He's Pedro. Tierney. Pedro's free if he can find him. He's fine Fakir instead. Fernando Torres! Torres with the brace! This is ridiculous. I didn't expect this from Fernando Torres. I mean, he's got three goals in his um, in in two well in, in the last two games um, on camera as well. He just loves the camera. Just fantastic from Fernando Torres. I love the fact that he scored a couple of goals, um, but an assist from Fakir as well. Lovely left-footed strike from Torres right into the bottom corner. Nothing different. Marshall can do about that. 
Um, maybe the, maybe attacking is the way to go with this tactic. Maybe that's what is going to... I mean, we're going to make a couple of time wastage substitutions here. Justin Clivert can come on for, I think, his first appearance of the season. And we'll get, as Peter Quater off for Emerson, who can fill in a right back. So, yeah, the game seems to be trickling out now. We'll just... Conte, I mean, it's not going to make much difference. But, yeah, um, three nice 3-1 three, win. Um, we've just been excellent in the second half. Haven't Hull haven't had a sniff. They haven't even had... I mean, they've had two half chances in the game. Um, we've just kind of strangled the game. and I mean, we haven't had a great deal of possession in this one, but 54% away from home on this game is pretty decent. You don't tend to get that so much, so I'm happy with that. I'm absolutely ecstatic about the Fernando Torres brace. Let me know what you think in the comments um, about that uh, and just about the general signing of Fernando Torres. I know some people probably hate it, but um, I love the fact that he's got a brace. It's brilliant. Um, brilliant comeback it was and Fernando Torres just yeah brilliant so that brings us to the end of the episode and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it um, if you could drop me a like a comment or subscribe I would be most humbled so um, please do that and, and just get involved with the, the football manager community in general help it grow um, I love the football manager community I say that in all my videos and I'll continue to say it because it's true so um, yeah just let me know thanks for watching now bye bye